This leech can stretch its body and compress its body. This because it does not have a stiff support rod which runs down its back. While many invertebrates are capable of movements such as these, a group called the chordates, this is a phylum which can, uh, contains small invertebrates plus all of the vertebrates such as fish, amphibians, mammals, etc. Uh, the chordates cannot do this. When their back stretches or compresses, it remains about the same length. These sharks, however, demonstrate a very different type of movement. Sharks and all vertebrates possess a vertebral column and this stiff support rod which runs down uh, their back prohibits them from stretching and compressing their backs. Instead, uh, it allows a lateral undulation and S-shaped side-to-side -side movements because when muscles contract, they do not stretch or compress the back. They simply move it to, from one side to the next. And here you can see this is quite an effective means of locomotion through water. And fish such as, such as these uh, sharks have made use of this. This type of movement, however, uh, evolved in primitive chordates before there was a vertebral column. So it was chordates with a notochord that evolved this type of S-shaped movement we see here in these sharks.